I turn my cam on. I cut my fingers on the way. We should just do the rest of our video blogs for the whole season tonight. I mean, I've already done the one for October. I have an overachiever. <laughs> she could have photoshopped some boots on you. <laughs> That's unlikely. Hashtag photoshop boots. <laughs> Bootoshop. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Fortnite. If you could travel to any point in history with the intention to alter it, what would it be and why? What potential collateral effects do you believe altering that event changing <laughs> would have on the greater scale of human history? I would never go back in time to alter history, ever, but if I did, um, I wouldn't. I mean, I would never do that because I'm too scared of the consequences because ultimately, if I change time, I'm not going to exist. Just. Because I'm that important. <laughs> I'm not in the business of creating paradoxes. I think about time travel a lot. I think I would venture on the side of not wanting to change anything just because there are... I habitually like to think of all possible consequences and that would eliminate that. What was your childhood dream and has it changed? I had a recurring dream that the dancing squishy alphabet letters from Sesame Street were always dancing out in front of the mall. <laughs> That's not what they meant. My childhood dream was, I had a lot of them. Uh, I wanted to own a grocery store, slash pizza shop, slash toy store. And I feel like at some point in my life I could own two out of the three. And I wanted to be a stand-up comedian. Has it changed? No. You can contrast your first kiss with your most recent. Uh, my first kiss? was I was 14 I was too old. apparently like that's old for our first kiss um it tasted like Twinkies but not because we had just eaten Twinkies um but it was cute uh and it was bad there was a lot of teeth <laughs> and like tongues and nothing fit right um and then my last kiss was one of those things where I was like oh I'm gonna kiss this person that's exciting and um I don't know, I'm embarrassed. We gotta stop. Next one, your question. I'm embarrassed. Thanks, Emily, you're an asshole. What would you do if slash when we become an internet phenomenon? I'd probably be the one that was like, went over the edge, snorting cocaine off of hookers and stuff. Like, I'm famous on the internet! <laughs> you don't know my life! Yeah, I was, mm, I'd still go to sleep early. <laughs> Nothing would change. I'd sleep a lot. I'd sleep a lot. Uh, most people are bad at questions because they're scared that the question they ask will reveal more about them than the answer reveals about the person answering. Philosophical drunk. Help! <laughs> Steve, yep, Stephen J. Davis wants you to predict our futures. Questions. You're gonna die! <laughs> Here's what's gonna happen. <laughs> you can't talk that answer! You're going to know, but I can add to it. Supplementary, you might also meet a nice girl or guy. You might get married. You might reproduce, and then you're gonna die. Basically, you're gonna die, and people will be sad about it, but if, if you live a really long time and you outlive everyone else, no one will be sad, because they will all also be dead. How has the Fortnite hood changed your life? The Fortnite has changed my life by um, kind of making online communities real for me. It took internet people and made them real people, and now they are the people that I most depend on for a lot of things. I think it definitely plays up all of my, um, what is the word? We have good things. Assets? Mm -mm. Positive qualities? Talents? Good things? Good things? All of the things. It has taken all of the things! <laughs> And all the things! All the things! Um, that I could potentially be really good at and put them all together. Put it in. <laughs> Shut up!